All right, help us get to 5,000 subs. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Watch it all the way through and check out our channel memberships and patrons. Also, check out our Discord link. So we're going to be doing the whole series today. So Hell A, B, C, D, and E. Now, obviously, there is a massive, massive size difference in these ships, whether or not these are going to get bigger and smaller, because obviously, as you can see here, the Hull A is about the same size as the 135. So going over these, they're all, they're all haulers, okay? They're all like cargo haulers, and this one would go with the Orion um, mining vessel. So we all know that the Orion is going to probably have an in-between it and the mole. I have no idea what's happening right now. Um, but what we're looking at right now is which one would be best suited for you and if you were to like would want this ship down the track and whether or not it would be worth your time buying and if you can see to you later on which some of these you might not be able to you might just have to melt it all right so we've got all the different hull series as you can see there are various different lengths hull a being the very basic one hull b next one hull c hull d and then hull e all right so we go to hull a and hull b obviously 22 meters for hull a 8 meters by 4 meters uh, it's a small ship 122,000 kilos 48 cargo um, one person's of minimum and maximum with everything else there's not a lot to put with it. it's just like a normal vessel so with the hull a you've got a small radar small computer two small fuel intakes two small fuel tanks a small quantum drive small jump module um, so forth you got two retro thrusters hasn't got anything about a main thruster there which they will probably be the retros will be your thrusters you got 12 maneuvering uh, you got a small fortitude you got a two small thermaxes two small bulwarks and your weapons are to be announced but there will be something on those a little bit down the track as we go into the page for the hull a uh, to have a look into its in depth so as you can see it says size one um, one two mounts so two per mount, so there's going to be two on there. Uh, there's all your, uh, your components. So depending if you really don't want to haul that much, this will probably be the ship for you. But if you want to haul something better, the hull, the hull E will be something for you to use. So obviously the hull B is like nearly double the size of the hull A, uh, weighing at 387,000 kilos. It's 49 meters long, 15.5 meters in beam, 17 meters high. Again, one person on it. You got a medium radar, medium computer, two medium fuel intakes, two medium fuel tanks, medium quantum drive, jump module, fuel tank, four retro thrusters, two main thrusters, twelve fixed maneuvering thrusters, and medium diligence, two medium cool cores, and two medium asper generator shields, shield generators. And then you go on to its page again, and you will see that the weapons will probably increase. You've got two well, size twos, and it says two. But again, it could be the same. It just depends on which ship you get and what you want to use it for. Obviously, having one of these ships as well, you're not going to just use it by itself. You're going to need some sort of a um, an escort and transport, obviously, them being so vulnerable. So we've got the whole sea here. You get 125 meters long, 55 meters wide, 55 meters high. It's large, um, 886,930 kilos, 4,608 cargo capacity, two minimum of... A minimum of two people, maximum of four, large radar, two medium computers, two large fuel intakes, two large fuel tanks, large quantum drive, large jump module, large quantum fuel uh, tank. You've got four retro thrusters, six main thrusters, 12 maneuvering thrusters, a large reliance, two large thermal cores, two large strongholds, and the weapons again are not too bad. We'll have a look at the whole C. So here, as you can see, it's size three, two per mount, and you've got three, um, you've got three mounts, that is. And you got two per mount and it's a size two so obviously you got a fair bit more added on to that ship so we go to the hull d have a look at that one as well so here again it's getting bigger 209 meters 70 meters wide uh 70 meters in height it's a capital ship now so they're classified as capitals so going into this 1.2 million kilos 20,736 cargo capacity minimum of three people maximum five you got a capital radar three medium computers three two uh, capital fuel intakes two capital fuel tanks a capital quantum drive capital jump module capital uh, quantum fuel tank four retro thrusters eight main thrusters 12 maneuvering thrusters capital power plant two capital cores two capital shield generators and again with the weapons we will have a look what this one has got in uh, retrospect 
So again, it's got size threes, it's got two per mount, and it's got three mounts. You got size four and you got two per mount where there's been one mount. So we'll go into the hull E. So here, 372 meters long, 104 meters wide, 104 meters high, 1.6 million kilos. It's a capital ship, 98,304 cargo capacity, four persons minimum, five persons maximum capital radar, four times uh, medium computers, four times capital fuel intakes, four times capital fuel tanks, capital quantum drive, capital jump module, two times capital quantum fuel tank, six time retro thrusters, 10 times main thrusters, 12 times uh, fixed maneuvering thrusters, C, a capital power plant, two capital cores, two capital shield generators. And then we go on that we're actually on the page for this. So again, you got size three, two per mount, you got three mounts, you got size five and two per mount. Now, obviously, like I said, with these ships, the bigger they are, the more you have, the more escorts you're going to have. If you're using it with an Orion, you're going to need a much bigger escort anyway. So going from the Hull A, this is about 60 US dollars it's supposed to be. Um, not a lot you can do it. You can obviously carry a bit of cargo with you, but not like not a massive amount. Weapons we've already gone over. So if you want something that's small, easy to manage by yourself, the Hull A is what you want if you're not carrying a lot of cargo with you as I said again 60 US dollars limited time sales go to the hull B so this is 90 US dollars and if you have a look down through here it's um, like obviously the sort of the next one up the medium uh, as you go so if you want one of these it would definitely be worth thinking about if you were to transport um, some ore and do trading this is another good one to think about if you don't want to have another uh, a lot of people with you obviously you will need escorts though because these are quite vulnerable going on to the whole c 250 to 200 us dollars depending on if you get a sale or not uh, minimum of crew to two to four you got 4600 scu like i said um but yes if you want to do more heavy freighting like heavier freighting this would be uh, a ship to think about it's again all these ships are to take into consideration if you're going to be doing a lot of trading it just depends on which one suits you the best but 4608 SEU that's not too bad um, you could get a merchant man that's probably around the same as some of these and it would do a better job and it has more guns so we go from the whole C to the whole D again it goes increases in price you go from th to 350 US dollars uh, again like I said, this is a transport, it is a cargo transport, 20,736 SEU. So again, this is getting much bigger. Um, again, it's this is about the length of a um, 890 jump, as we can see with some of these, uh, some are size of a Carrick. So like I said, it all depends on what you guys really want to do with these, because obviously these are massive flipping ships, like they are huge and they are not to take lightly on what you need to do and what you're going to do with them. So here we got the Hull E, 650 to 550 US dollars. Now this is the biggest of the biggest with having 98,304 SEU, crew one to five, but I would say uh, crew two to five because of the uh, weapons and you're just gonna need more people. Obviously you're gonna need more transport and escorting with this as it's gonna be more vulnerable as you're trying to be able to, you'll probably have to try and get this through jump points as well. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a massive job to actually get this to where you want to get it and to do what you want to do. So depending on if you want any of these ships, it's all going to depend on if you've got the resources and you've got the manpower to do what you need to with these ships. Because obviously, like I said, it's not going to be taken lightly. You need to have a plan in place with these ships to get them where you need them and to do what you want with them. Um, obviously, this is going to be used with the... Um, the Orion, the mining vessel that will be in space mining um, asteroids and whatnot. So again, you're going to need um, more people with that as well. So we'll do a video on that as um, as well as this. But if you have the manpower, if you don't want something so uh, with a lot of overheads, the hull A and the hull B are the way to go. Maybe even the hull C. Like I said, it all depends on your uses for it and your need. If you're in an org and you can get the people and the manpower and you can get these things out in the verse, well then go for it. I'd go for the biggest and if not, money is no object to you. This isn't a bad price though. I hope you enjoyed this. It's been Baron Ozigama. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our Discord and check out all our links in the description. But thank you so much for watching. Peace.